Yeah. Blue jeans and ones and a white tee. 06 hanging out the window like E. High feet on one off a bottle might be my tree. It's your boy Blueface. And coming to y'all with another story time, man. You see me on my Playmaker, man. Just some old gameplay. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I just like this. I ain't gonna lie, man. This is just some like I want to go in try hard mode. You feel me? Cause I'm just I'm trying to I'm trying to tell y'all this story, bro. By the title of this, you probably like, bro. How did this nigga get hit by a car? And making this video, bro. Man, I ain't gonna lie, man. I was supposed to been make this video, but it been hard, bro. See, I'm going against the enemy, so I ain't gonna try too hard, you feel me? So, so by the title of this, you probably like how you get hit by a car. And I'm making this video last year after I got my car took, basically. Bro, I used to walk to the store, bro, because, bro, I ain't had no car, man, you feel me? I just got my car took. And, man, I ain't gonna lie, man. One day I walked to the store, I got smacked by a Mustang, bro. And I'm here today to tell you the story. So, man, everything used to be the same with me. And by that mean, like, my everyday routine. So, every day I work out, brush my hair, play the game. And, yes, I did brush my teeth and get in the shower. So, you know, sometime by, like, three or four weeks after I blew my engine on my car, I still couldn't bounce right back and get another car. So, I used to walk, walk around a lot. Like, walk around my neighborhood, walk to my old neighborhood. So, one day I just got done working out. And like, this is like when I really was taking a break from 2K18, bro, I really wasn't like, I wasn't even messing with the game, bro, I wasn't even playing a game like that, bro, I was like a 93, 94. So, I was like, I'm gonna walk to my uncle's house before I go to work, because I was still working a lot, and I was like, I'm finna gas, so I needed money, so, you feel me? I had a little bit of money set to get my car fixed, but you feel me, I was just gonna take, take a little small, small something out. So, it was at the bank, so I had to walk to the bank and walk to my uncle's, but it was just to my luck, cause bro, they all in the same area. So I had my set route, and bro, I got ready to leave, and before I left, I asked my mom, cause she take me to the bank, but she like work at home and stuff, so you feel me? I ain't feel like waiting till she got off the phone and stuff, so. I was impatient. I end up leaving because I had work and I ain't had time to wait. Like I'm, a, I'm an impatient person. So me and my little bro walked like to the stuff. bank first, and like that was easy basically. Besides the fact like these niggas was looking at us when we was taking the money out. They looked like they was trying to rob us, but they didn't. They just you feel me. They just watched us walk up the street. You feel me? So after that, man. We get out there by the gas station, and I call my uncle, and I said, "We, bro, we just got done finish at the bank, bro. We finna make this stop at the gas station real quick. Then we headed towards your house. So then he hung up. He was like, "That's all cool." So we end up going in the gas station, like getting what we need to get, and bro, I stayed like a few streets over from the gas station. My uncle stayed down the street. So we start walking down the street. And, bro, I was like, wait, bro, I need to run home and get my headphones. So he was like, okay, you feel me? He ain't, he ain't really, he was like, all right. So we started running across the street. Like, we didn't even use this crosswalk. And, bro, the only thing I remember at this point when I was crossing the street was me trying to dodge like a red blur that got closer. And I jumped out of the way, and it's worth the same way I jumped when it touched my leg. I remember like getting helped off the street. Like when I woke up and onto the stretcher, when I go into the stretcher, I was put in the back of the ambulance and I was like asked a million questions, bruh. And like, I ain't gonna lie, it's like with my memory, like my memory just starting to come back to me. I was like, bruh, I got hit by a car. And I remember the police was like, they flashed a flashlight in my eye cause they kept asking if I was high. And I told them no, but I guess they thought I was lying, but. So after that, like, I told them my name and the president, and they would check if I had any hair trauma and shit, you feel me? Like, I remember feeling lightheaded, like, I rested my eyes. 
So when I woke up, the first thing I remember doing, bro, like no cap, I acted like I had a controller in my hand and acted like I was dribbling. Like, <laughs> I don't know, man, I be fiending for 2K too much, bro. But I had to make sure I could dribble. At least if my legs or something didn't work no more, at least I, I could play the game because I enjoy playing the game, you feel me? And then, you know, after that, I made sure I wasn't paralyzed. Bro, I went on Facebook Live after that, and I know y'all like, well, this nigga probably lying and shit, but nah, I really did. And I remember before I went on Facebook Live, I was calling my friends, and I called my ex. <laughs> I don't even know why I did that for real, but I don't really remember what I was saying to them, but I remember telling them I got hit by a car, and I hung up, you feel me? So yeah, when I finally got to the hospital, it was cold as fuck. And I was feeling all types of pain, like, my body was realizing, like, yeah, you, you got smacked by a car. And, like, I broke my leg and a vertebrae in my back. So you would think, like, I got hit by a car, and, bruh, I got knocked out. And now I'm back conscious. Like, they would be putting me on them good numbing drugs, bruh, so my legs and stuff weren't hurt. No, bruh, these folks gave me Advil, and I broke part of my back and part of my leg so anyway shortly after i get there bro the police bro that nigga come in a waiting room that man flash a paper in my face talking about you getting a jaywalking ticket because you went in the uh crosswalk i'm like man that's crazy i was just unconscious and you gonna make me sign this and i ain't gonna lie the man ain't even really care bro but we're gonna have to stop the video right here man it's your boy blueface and i'm out Part 2 coming tomorrow. Like, share, and subscribe for more. I'm gone.